Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 59 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you some tips on doing targeted adjustments. Now, those of you that watch my videos know that in several other Learn Lightroom 5, Lightroom 6 videos, I've covered targeted adjustments rather in depth. In this video, I'm just going to give you some tips on how to maybe use it more efficiently. Now, those of you that don't know what targeted adjustments are, if you open up either the Tone Curve tab or the HSL Color B&W tab, you'll notice in the top left-hand corner there's this little circle. That is the targeted adjustment tool. And if you're using it in the Tone Curve, what you would do is you would just click on it and you'll see that your cursor becomes the tool. And as I move the cursor around the image, you'll notice that if you look at the actual tone curve over here on the right, you'll see that there's a point that is moving around the image. So if I want to adjust a specific part of the image or a specific group of tones that are in the image, what I need to do is just grab that tool and put that cursor over that a group of tones. Let's say I want to make this group of tones a little darker. So if I put my cursor over it, you can see that there's a point on that tone curve. Now when I left click the mouse button, or I click the left button of the mouse, you'll notice that the, the uh, tool will disappear. So I'm going to left click, the tool's disappeared, so you really can't see what I'm doing. But what I'm doing now is I'm just going to pull the mouse straight down, and you can see it pulls the curve straight down. Now if I push the, cur the mouse straight up, it pushes the, the curve straight up or pushes that point straight up. So if I want to just make a targeted adjustment to those specific tones, that's all I had to do. And you can see there's a point on the curve now. So I'm going to back out of this by hitting Command Z. If you had a PC, it would be Control Z. So it just backs you out a step. Now you could do similar things with the HSL Color B&W tab, if you're in the HSL tab, you have three sub-tabs, Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. Let's say I feel this orange is too saturated, so I would go to the Saturation tab, I would grab this uh, Targeted Adjustment tool, I would put it over this orange, I would left-click or click the left mouse button on my mouse, and then I would just drag the mouse straight down, and you'll see the orange slider is moving down, taking away some of the saturation, also, you see the yellow is moving slightly down a touch too. So this is actually targeting those tones that were directly, or those colors that were directly under the cursor. Now, you could do that with the saturation. You could do that independently with the luminance, with the hue. Also, if you're in a black and white mode, you could actually adjust the black and white mix directly as well by coming in here and adjusting it that way. Now. Kind of the point of this video is if you want to use this targeted adjustment tool and instead of jumping between the two tabs, if you look down here in the toolbar and if you don't see this bar down here, hit the T key on your keyboard. That turns that bar on and off. I know a lot of folks that do targeted adjustments and they prefer to use this drop down. So right now I could target tones. So you can see target group is tones. So I want to take this tone right here and I want to bring it down just a little. Then I would go to this drop down and I could go to saturation and I want to take some of the saturation again out of this, this orange. Then I could go to luminance and I want to make the orange a little darker. You can see. See how that works? So they could do it all right here with this drop down. And you could see that both tabs are now open and you could see the adjustments we did. The last adjustments I did was this luminance adjustment of the orange. And you could see I brought that orange slider down and yellow down just a touch. Now, at the very bottom is grays. Hopefully you could see that there. If I click on that, it's actually going to put me in into the B&W mode. So I could come in here and I could do uh, black and white mix adjustments with the targeted adjustment tool. So this kind of orange patch of feathers right here, if I want that a little darker, if I want to bring this one up a little, make it brighter. So I could come in here, I could make his 
beak maybe a little brighter. So I could actually affect the specific tone of the colors when they're converted to black and white, if that made any sense, with the black and white mix. And then, of course, you could go back and go back to color if you so choose and adjust the color colors directly. Um, and personally, I don't do uh, too much with hue, but you could come in here and change the hue of colors also if you wanted to. All right, so that's it. That's uh, uh, episode 59 of Quick Tips. I specifically more wanted to show you that you could do use this drop down over here in the toolbar to adjust both the tone curve targeted adjustments and the HSL color BNW targeted adjustments all pretty much at the same time, a little more easily accessible right there. So thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I hope this taught you something you didn't know about targeted adjustments. I'll talk to you guys soon.